This is the direct TV receiver. We use the HR24 model. It's a DVR, so it has two satellite inputs. So we will be running two coaxes into the truck. The receiver comes packaged in a box with the power cord and access card. You want to be careful not to discard this access card, which is taped to the top of the receiver in a little green tinted package. The card goes right in the slot behind the access door on the front of the receiver unit. There's an arrow showing which direction to insert the card. The access card must always be seated for the system to work. There are two stickers that contain all the information regarding the equipment from the dome to the receiver itself. Epic View requires that both stickers are placed on top of the receiver towards the front so the driver can reference them should they ever need to. The 1-800 number for customer service is also located on this sticker for easy access. Hook up the coax cables to the inputs on the DirecTV receiver. Remember outside, the coax with the writing on it? It's attached to the main port. That goes into input 1 on the receiver. The cable without any writing on it goes into input 2. The reasoning for this? Input 1 is your main communication port and goes to the main input on the dish which in turn goes to the computer board on the inside of the dome, which controls everything. Finger tighten these connections, then secure them with a 7 16 end wrench so the vibration from the truck won't loosen them. Clean up cords by tucking any excess slack out of view, leaving enough slack so that the receiver can be managed easily in the future. Next, simply hook up the receiver to the TV. Run the HDMI cord from the HDMI slot in the TV into the HDMI slot on the receiver. Also, insert the power cords on the back of the receiver and TV and plug those both into the inverter that is installed in the truck. Epic View has also included an off-air antenna with every system. It's a WineGuard Razor Amplified antenna, one of the best on the market. Install this antenna as it is by far a higher quality antenna than what comes on the truck. The driver will use this antenna when they want to get their local channels. This antenna is usually placed in the top window and secured between the window and the window shade. Then run the cables down through the cabinet and down to the rear of the DirecTV receiver. Located on the back of the DirecTV receiver is a USB port which actually powers the amplifier. Plug the USB cord from the antenna into the USB port. Connect the coax cable on the end of the antenna to the antenna in port on the back of the TV. Hand tighten that down and then secure with a 7 16 end wrench. If you have done this correctly, your unit should be getting a signal from the receiver and the off-air antenna to the TV. If you are not getting a signal from the receiver, feel free to review the steps found in this video segment.